Hello fashion sewers, it's Colleen Julie here and this is fashionsewingblog.com. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to do the basting stitch by hand and what one looks like or the stitch looks like is this. This is a project I'm working on at the moment and that's a basting stitch. There's two kinds really and that's what it looks like on the back and that's what it looks like on the front as you've thrown it. The second one is this one. This is what you call an even basting stitch. The second one is what you call an uneven basting stitch. This is on the surface and this is underneath and the stitches are smaller as you can see. Okay so I'll show you how to do both techniques there. Okay I'll show you the even one first. So I've got a sample of fabric here. You can Use a thimble if you want to. That's a thimble, which I'll I'll use an um, um as part of this tutorial. But you don't have to. Right, okay. I've knotted my thread. It's double thread. Okay. So I'm going to start underneath. Pull my needle through. And then I'm going to put it right about here. And then I'm going to, as you can see the needle action there, position it in a straight line as much as I possibly can and take it through roughly about the same amount that I'm actually making for the stitch there. Okay, do it again. Put the needle through. Judge it roughly there by pricking into the fabric, you can see it there, and pull it through. Okay, don't make it too taut, uh, but you do want it to be firm. This is a kind of um, stitching that you would use, say for example, if you're fitting a garment, this is the kind of stitching that I would use. Because it's quite stable, and also, you can also do them smaller. I'm just showing you here as an example, so you can actually see the sample that I'm doing for you. It's quite, it's quite an easy stitch, it's similar to a running stitch really, and that's what it looks on the opposite side. Okay, right, I'll put that needle into there, and I'll get the other needle with some orange thread for you, and just roughly show you what an uneven basting stitch is all about. Okay, so I've got my needle there, put it through, it's knotted, it's double thread, and Basically, you th it's, it is on uneven stitches on top, and this is partly what you would do for marking end positions on your fabric, and they can be quite large. They don't all have to be even either. Okay, right, and then when you just come to the end, you just knot it, just put a knot in there, so I'll bring that through the loop, and just create another loop, tie it off, and I knot in the end there, and I cut the thread, and those are the two basting stitch. So you've got the even one, which is even on the other side, and you've got the uneven one where you can see it's larger on the upper side, on the underneath side it's slightly smaller. So that's basting stitch for you. And you use both of those, the first one as I said, when you're actually fitting a garment because it's stronger and smaller, and the large one is if you're making any markings on any of your fabrics. Okay. Um, I'm Colleen Julie. I look forward to seeing you in my next video and um, happy sewing.